Welcome guys to Gunners Lovers TV. Uh, welcome all our subscribers, the new ones to our channel. We're going to be discussing and reviewing uh, North London Derby. Um, of course, I'm outdoors. You can see the sea behind me. The weather is good and uh, I'm just having a good time. Um, our match with uh, Tottenham was full of surprises because um, we expected, I guess the waves just coming near my legs, we expected to have beaten Tottenham, but um, I would say we got the surprise of our life because um, Tottenham had a very young team and a new coach with a new system. So the old brigade of Tottenham, we used to know, they are no longer there. Uh, Harry Kane is gone. Uh, Dele Ali is no longer there. And a host of others who have left the club. So they put up a very good fight. Um, we scored, they scored. We scored, they scored. Just like that. It was ping pong. We are, people criticized that we rejoiced too much and uh, forgot to concentrate on how to defend. Giorgio was the culprit. Giorgio could not hold his ground. See, usually Giorgio knows how to pick people's uh, small, small pockets from uh, picking balls from people. But this time around, he's the one that was affected. The reverse was the case. You see? They just passed the ball and he lost it immediately. So, that was a big fault from Giorgio. He's so experienced. He should have known better. Uh, but he uh, did not hold his ground. But this is what you get from not playing regularly. When you are playing regularly, you are more at a lax to things like that. We had an um, issue with um, Trossard, who, you know, had a knock in the match when we played the Champions League. He could not future because I was really worried why was he not playing. Um, what is his name again? Declan Rice had a back problem midway into the match and he could not play. What could have happened if Declan Rice had played a full match? I believe we could have won. But matches that have good if, when, they never win you matches. A lot of people have criticized that uh, we have lost the title already because uh, it's four points in between us and Man City. Since when have you started winning titles? When uh, it's just uh, less than 10 matches played? We are going to about 38 to be played. So it's a long haul. Last time, everybody thought we had won it. Uh, Manchester City came back and they took the title from uh, Hans. So it is completely a fallacy. It's a complete fallacy to begin to determine who is going to win the Premier League at this time. Also, I want to quickly discuss that um, a lot of rumor has been going on that Ivan Tony. Asna is uh, keeping an eye on Tony to sign him in January. That would be a great addition if we have him in our team. Avatoni is a very good striker. Uh, I think if he had played also in that match, he would have supported Jesus better uh, than what Inketia did. Inketia was a little bit flat for me in that match. He didn't really turn up. Saka was the you know only one that really shined. It shined very well, but they're always kicking him and uh, he finds a way to wriggle out of it. Our midfield collapsed immediately, the Clan Rice left. Our defense lost concentration. David Hans' save was one of the fantastic, most fantastic save I've ever seen an Arsenal goalkeeper do. I'm not even talking of in the Premier League. Even Ramsey had to applaud what his colleague, uh, David Rea was doing because several times he saved Asna at the back post. He wanted a clean sheet, but unfortunately, our defenders and Giorgio do not allow him to have the clean sheet he so desired. Clean sheet he so desired. So, David Rea has come to stay from the look of things. Did he pass the test of the non London Derby? Yes, I would say he passed the test because the two goals that were scored was never a goalkeeper's error, was never a goalkeeper's problem. It was a defensive error. Players were just standing watching while Tottenham players cruised in. Uh, the battle between Declan Rice and Madison, I would say Declan Rice won that battle. 
In all fairness, not because I'm an Arsenal fan. Declan Rice, before he left the field, was fair. Man has him got uh, to take up the show uh, midway when Declan Rice left. Other guy was quite effective, but not really too effective the way he was effective in the Champions League. So, we have a long way to go. We have Brentford to play. The likes of Giorgio uh, should be playing that match. We are told the injury with Declan Rice is just a mild one. So, we might see Declan Rice quickly coming again to join the pole. Uh, we also think that uh, Jesus played very well in that match. The great opportunity that he had, if he had taken it, we would be in this uh, discussion, having this discussion to say that we, the match was a draw. So, we are looking forward to better things from us, and this is a lesson for them. It doesn't mean that Manchester City will not sleep. There are harder and uh, bigger, bigger matches coming. Um, every match is a three points. It doesn't mean you have to play a big team before you lose a match. So, Man City can play any other team and it becomes very difficult for them. So, like, share, and subscribe. This is Gunners Lovers TV. Do not walk out past. I'm on holiday. I felt I should speak with you because that's not going to be here. I told you and I promised you. I will come and we'll discuss it together. Please do not fail to share this uh, video to your friends. Enjoy the view behind me. All for you. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Gunners Lovers TV. Do not walk out past. Jesus Christ loves you and we love you here. Here on Gunners Lovers TV. See you in your next video. Bye.